Mohammed Abdullah Farmajo lays the foundation stone for the construction of a major port in the ancient central Somali town of Hobio. The new port will add up to a list of strategic ports in the Horn of African nation and in turn boost trade in the Gelmuduk regional state, one of the least developed regions in the country. Somalia doesn't need two or three ports. We have the potential to have 20 ports. This is because we have a very long coastline, about 3,300 nautical miles, as well as heavy maritime traffic of close to 100,000. Therefore, to boost our economy, we must ensure we take advantage of our coastline to generate revenue for this country. Traders from the region mostly rely on commodities brought from the port of Bosaso, more than 700 kilometers away, and the port of Mogadishu, some 500 kilometers away. A devastating civil war has had a heavy toll on the central Somali region. Decades of conflict destroyed the region's infrastructure system. Transport vehicles ferrying goods take days to reach here, with large trucks often breaking down due to the poor state of roads. A group of Chinese engineers recently visited the ancient town as Mogadishu plans to have the port up and running in a few years' time so as to boost the country's overall economy. We came here on a fact-finding mission and to see how this project will be carried out. It's not just this port, but we are also looking at ways to help Somalia realize its full potential since it's a country of vast natural resources. Chinese companies are largely credited for exemplary work in Somalia. Before the Civil War, engineers from China constructed the country's biggest stadium in Mogadishu, as well as the country's referral hospital. It also constructed key roads in northern Somalia that remain in perfect conditions more than two decades later. In 2016, a Chinese construction company built a 2.4-kilometer runway in the port city of Bosaso in Puntland, connecting the region to the outside world. Chinese engineers are also working on a recently commissioned 100-kilometer road project that will connect Puntland's administrative capital of Gorowe to Ail, an ancient port town in northeastern Somalia. Relations between these two countries date back to many years ago. Somalia hopes to benefit under the Belt and Road Initiative announced in 2013 by Chinese President Xi Jinping. It also hopes to join a growing number of African economies that are improving thanks to the massive infrastructure development being spearheaded by China in Africa. Meanwhile, financial experts suggest that with improved security conditions, increased investment is the only way to rebuild the East African nation that's emerging from decades of instability. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.